Hello everyone, Razor Flame Kun here. And in this episode of the Terraria, let's not the Terraria, let's play the hunt for the hollowed armor, we are going to be heading back to that dungeon that I got owned in previously. And that's where I experimented with some dynamite. And as you can see, there's a crap ton of logs here. I'm mean, not not logs, um, trees that can be turned into wood. And I'm going to have to do, probably have to do this eventually. Anyways, here is the house that I started. We have, actually we have some more stone wall here. Uh, again, I brought over some materials from my previous, from my, uh, di on a, on a different world. Say it's the world that you know that I've been using quite often lately. Anyways, what I actually, there's actually a couple things that I have to do. Bef I am expanding this house now. And before I'm going to be able to expand it, I am indeed going to need to cut down some of these trees to get some wood so that I can go ahead and make the, the things that I need to make in order to continue to expand the house. Anyways... First things first, we add a roof. There we go. Now what I have to do is I have to make a workbench and place it down. There we go. Now that I have the workbench, we can go ahead and start working on making a whole bunch of different items that we're going to need to make in order to fully expand this house. Next we're going to have to place some stone wall. In order to be able to successfully be able to have somebody move in here, we have to have the entire place walled in. And crap, I probably just wasted a bunch of things. And oh my gosh. That was pretty intense there. We had some something fall from the sky. Now, one thing that I am going to need to do is I really need the, these guys to not do that. And what the... Why is there light down there? There shouldn't be light down there because unless there's something... Uh, there just shouldn't be light down there. Anyways... What we need to do next is, come on, place table down. There we go. It's actually quite a bit bigger than I thought it was, but there we go. So now somebody else can move in there. Now what I am going to need to do is come over here. There we go, and I don't know why there is, I still don't know why there's a bit of, you know, you can kind of see down in there, like there's light in there when there shouldn't be. Anyways, we need to, I need to gather up some sand blocks to make some glass to make some empty bottles so that I can make some alchemy stations. There we go. 
Now I just come over here to where my furnace is and glass should be, oop, we just passed it. And we ha we just got somebody new moving in. Sheena the mechanic, we got the mechanic to move in. Which is very nice. That's the purpose, one of the purposes that I went ahead and made this house here. Or started adding stuff to this house. Gotta go ahead and open this up again in the vent to defend the house. Anyways, place the bottle there, place the bottle there. Oh cool, you can actually place more than one. Anyways, now we have an alchemy station. Which is what I was trying to go for. Ooh. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Shut this door, shut this door. And now... I'm going to need to build some storage and... Another how another place to... I'm pretty, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do is build another... We're gonna build another layer onto here. So that we can get more people to move in as time goes on. Of course, I really wish it wasn't night right now. But alas, nothing can be done about that, unfortunately. Actually, that's where the door is going to go. Um, so I'm going to have to place some temporary buildings or temporary walls. And crap, that was not good. And got to go back over here and defend my house from attack again. Anyways, go. I need to go ahead and put up some some stone wall there so that I can go ahead and or stone blocks there so I can go ahead and do that. And actually, I need to put it. No, one, two, three, crap, four. Um, that's not high enough. Four is not high enough. Five is what I need to have it be in order to be able to make this a successful house. And there we go. Now I can just go straight across here and do that. Then I can go ahead and do that so now we have the foundation for the house now for the additional portions of this building and I'm going to definitely need to do this because we're going to get people coming in fairly soon now as you can see by the icon right there actually we actually should have the mechanic moving in pretty soon and now that that's done we can go ahead and combine those put those in there and then those I am going to need the wood to make two doors. Then 
We could come up here, play store, play store, and now we have a whole bunch of room in which we can store some stuff now. Now that I have the chests down, we can go ahead and store some stuff. The room that I'm in right now is going to be a storage room where I'm going to store most of the stuff that I have. I'm going to go ahead and just take care of the remain remaining remainder of the stuff that I have. We can go ahead and make an, another alchemy station up here. Doesn't really matter very, too much, but we can go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go out and we're going to go over here and I'm going to plant some trees. So that we can get some more wood at a later point in time if we need to. You don't want to place them as close as uh, as close to each other each other as I've been placing them because they'll eventually over they they'll eventually grow but since they're so close to each other you're going there's going to be some problems because of how close they are anyways that's the topic for another thing right here is the mechanic and i don't really know much about this part of the game because i or this person because I haven't really unlocked her before. Anyways... Don't need you to do anything for me right now. But I am going to go ahead and deposit this stuff in here. And what we are going to do is we are going to head back to the dungeon. I still uh, must be because the we we're really close. That's really close to the surface. That's why it's so like really you. It really is is light down there. Anyways, I'm gonna go into here really quick and just <coughs> excuse me. Put a couple of torches down. just to light up the area around inside of here. Come on, put it down. There we go. Torch down here. One here. Another one there. Just gonna light up this area pretty quickly. So that in case I come, to, I want to come down here, we can, at a later point in time. There we go. That should be decent enough. I am going to go down a bit without any light. And kind of glad that I did because I found a demon altar right over there and then there's some other stuff that we can get later Ooh, we got a shine potion wow that's pretty strange structure right there but that's not what we're down here for in fact we're not really down here at we're not really going to be down here for for much longer but it's glad I'm glad that I was that I found that demon altar because we're going to be using that at a later point in time in this very world we're going to be destroying it and yay nurse arrived 
So we got another person coming into our house. Blink root seeds. Got this, a sh which is very nice. It emits an aura of light, and that we that's something we can use to when we get over to the dungeon. But I am going to need to get a, a, a little bit of wood, and I already have. I already looked in here. So... Just going to go ahead and knock down a few trees here and get rid of the acorns because I'm not going to be using them. Anyways, doesn't look like there is much else to do except go straight... <laughs> excuse me, straight for the dungeon. There's a nice little water system right here. Which there seemed to be a pot down in there. So that was nice to find a pot there. I'm gonna go down over here and there's another pot. There we go. So now we're gonna be continuing to head over to the dungeon. I'm pretty sure that I will not have to kill the dungeon, the, you know, um, Skeletron again, because I already killed him in a previous attempt, or a previous one run through that dungeon. One thing, uh, I'm looking for a specific item called a Shadow Key. I need to find the Shadow Key in order to be able to gain access to a kind to a another type of chest down in the underworld called shadow chests and I have to open the shadow chests in order to find a the particular item that I'm looking for that will allow me to be able to defeat the or to gain an item that will, yes, that will allow me to defeat the boss, the boss that enables hard mode. So now I'm going to be coming back down into this dungeon. And over there is a shadow alt, uh, demon altar. I'm going to be destroying any and all things that get in my way this time around. So let us... Oh, got a golden key. That's good. Oh, there was a... Oh, crap, crap, crap. That wasn't good. But there is a... Life crap, crap. A life crystal right there. Ooh. Which is very good because life crystals. Ah, my gosh. Life crystals can increase your total health. Although I do not think I can increase my total health anymore because my total health is the highest that it can be, that it can be right now. Ow. 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 God, I am really, really sucking in this area. Anyways, I can finally get back to going through the remainder of that. And, and I can get another gold chest, which is awesome. Crap, don't want to fall into that. Jump over that hole there. There we go, killed him. Now we're gonna go above. 
And I gotta watch out for these guys. Or that, because... Ow. Ow. Ooh, got a gravitation potion out of... That's... Oh, and... Yay! Found goblin. That is awesome. So now he's gonna go and wander around. And eventually he'll die. But that's fine if he dies, because... Let's see. Nope. No new... Ooh, oh, that looks... <laughs> That's absolutely amazing, that... What I just got there. That... Crap! Get away f Oh my gosh. I saw something down there. And... Crap! It's going to come back around to... Oh, but it's going to go on the top. Yeah, that is a blazing wheel. And... They spawn every once in a while. But And when they spawn, it's usually not a good thing. Because... They usually deal... Crap damage to you. Like I've been dealing with this entire time, and uh, stop spawning. There's another blazing wheel that I saw down there. Crap! I knew that was gonna damage me. Anyways, I can finally crap. Oh, there's nothing else in this room, so we're gonna be heading back the way we came. Hopefully not taking too much damage. Crap, I just picked up that door. Anyways... We are gonna head back the way we came and then drop down here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm fall I fell down quite a ways there, but over here there seems to be another gold chest. This time it actually has some more stuff in it. Uh don't need that, don't need that. It has another gold key, which is excellent. That is something that I am going to need. But right now, it is completely pitch dark, which is not good. Oh, and that was just a regular chest. I thought that was a... Crap! Ow. I knew that was going to damage me. Oh, goodness. We have some more guys shooting at me. But I want that statue. There we go. Ow, stop. Stop doing that. Ow, stupid. Oh my gosh. I fell down another long ways, and now I have to go back up. There we go. That's what I want to see. Another gold chest. So that's good that we found another gold chest. And you stupid thing just teleported away from me. Nope, still haven't found it. Where the heck can that stupid thing be? We got an, we got an aqua scepter there though. And we can get that. Oh my god. There's another two golden chests right there. Ha, huh, looks like I trapped that guy there. That's... 
cool. I trapped that blazing wheel there. Back there. Anyways, more bombs. More silver coins. Gotta take care of these guys, though, because otherwise we're gonna continue to do stuff, which isn't good. And crap, crap, crap. Took I just took a whole bunch of damage that I didn't. I'm still taking a whole bunch of damage that I don't need to. Yeah, that's this is pretty much what the dungeon exploring is. What is all about? Although this time we've actually oh crap gotten quite a bit farther than the previous time and I'm pretty sure I do not have any gold keys so no you're not doing that Yeah, I've gotten much farther in this this time than in previous attempts and actually I can Do that. Ah, doesn't do anything. Okay, never mind. Crap, stupid. Ow, stupid thing. Stop hitting me. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Holy crap, I just fell down another huge shaft. Okay, that wasn't good. Oh, that's this is good though. Finding two of these guys is excellent cuz they always drop gold. Do I just get Do I have 3 golden? No, I have 2. Ow, stupid Emma Emmer Effring things. What I need to do is do that, then do this, then do this, and what the Okay, that uh, this isn't going so well, unfortunately. I am about to die. Uh, did that just increase my... No, it doesn't. Nope, can't increase my life any further. Oh, crap. I'm still having to deal with certain things in this game. Which are really starting to bug me. Okay, that guy's gonna come around right now, and we got guys falling on me. Oh my god, these things keep on falling on me. Oh crap. Oh wait, that, that thing's on the other side. Blue Moon, gonna go ahead and... Ow. And destroy it. Ooh, got another golden key. Which is excellent. The more golden keys I have, the more... Oh my god. What the heck is going on with these guys? They like, drop down. See, they drop down. And they deal... I'm getting hit for quite a bit of damage. Thankfully, I'm going to be able to heal again. Ah, my god. Oh, another... No, oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, there you are. Crap, this isn't good. 
Yep, this isn't good. There we go. Shucks. Anyways... That's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to continue going through dungeons. So until next time, this has been Razor Flame Code, and may all of your days shine bright.